Saturday morning, all you graphomaniacs. It felt good to sleep in because you know what? I finally got my whole schedule done for the week, and Saturday now I can work on the extra properties that I have. That way, I'm not struggling later on in the month to get things done. I'm hoping that this works out more than what it has been because. In the past, all the Fridays, I've been getting rained out. And yesterday, I started late, but I got everything done for Friday done. So now I'm going to work on Saturday to get extra stuff done. Now, I wanted to show y'all, I stopped at the gas station to get two cycle gas. And I had to get me some energy drink. And check it out. Melon mania yeah they know me the grass mania guy needs a melon melon mania <laughs> i thought that was things so i just had to videotape that but these are just like bang but guess what monster energy actually makes these but nowhere on the can says monster energy but because they're not energy drinks because they the zero on everything just like the bang but you can find these everywhere in my area but at for to get bang you got to get them at just a couple select stores so i tried these and they are good too so hope y'all have a good saturday i'm hoping i don't get rained out but if i do oh well because everything i do today is just going to be extra just put me that far ahead of the game, so have a good Saturday, all y'all. All right, everybody, I want to show y'all an issue I was having, and this company was nice enough to actually send me a replacement for it free of charge, and that was so, so awesome of them to do, and I appreciate it, that is for sure, because I love this gas can. It is the best gas can out there, and that would be my sure can and the thing I had to replace was the spout you see this is the old one that has this is how it came there's a metal band on here and this one don't have that for some reason I don't know if it's these o-rings that's on here that if they're going bad but every time I use <clears throat> to fill up my equipment gas would just spill out you can see in the bed of my truck here where there's like gas residue where when I filled up my trimmers or blower well mostly my trimmers but when I filled up my handheld equipment it would leak after using it so sure can was nice enough to send me this replacement spout this whole assembly for for free of charge so they didn't have to do that but man that is awesome that a company would stand by their product and send you the thing to fix it for free you know these cans ain't cheap they're like 50 50 60 bucks depending on where you're at for the five gallon you know these are worth the money because you don't get no gas on your hand you don't have no spillage now this thing won't leak out so I won't be losing gas so a big shout out to sure can and if you haven't tried them out you need to try them out because they are awesome and you know you can take this from my experience they're back in their product so that's a win-win you know, get a great gas can, they stand by their product and take care of you. That's how companies should do, how they should treat their customers because, you know, we're spending our hard-earned money on this stuff, you know, trying to make more money because this saves you time. And time is money in this industry, that is for sure. So check out SureCan and a big thanks to SureCan. I'm here at these ponds again. It's been 
been about a month since I've been here and just look how how tall the grass has grown in that month period this property mowing and trimming around these ponds it generally takes me about three hours to knock this out I might be a little a little longer today because the grass is wet but you know what this is a property it just needs knocked down and taken care of because it grows like crazy don't have to look perfect because nobody comes here it's just a basically a vacant property that this company has and they they don't really use it they just use a little bit of things here at the front of the gate but that is all it needs done so i have properties like this for them that it really don't matter what it looks like as long as it gets knocked down mode and not growing out of control so i hope y'all's having a good saturday i know my wife and my daughter they're gonna laugh at this video because i'm wearing a retro jacket this is a jacket when i played basketball back in high school and guess what it still fits yeah i still have clothes that i can wear from when I was in high school. You know, if there ain't nothing wrong with the clothes, I just keep clothes. There ain't no sense in going out and buying brand new clothes when you got a closet full of clothes. Even though it might be from high school days, I still have some. <laughs> so I know they'll get a kick out of this, so I will throw this in the video. That way they can have a laugh at their dad husband with their retro jacket on because it is a little chilly today it's not even 60 degrees yet i doubt it will because it's been rainy and i'm hoping i can get this knocked out before it rains so i'll show y'all the finished product when i get this done because i'm not gonna set y'all up and y'all see the same thing as last time so, I will show y'all finished product when I get it done. Peace. Y'all, you grassy maniacs, here is a finished product of what these ponds look like this time. It has rained the whole time, so mowed and trimmed all in the rain. Didn't get as close as I want to the one side, but I was not falling in to the pond, that was for sure. And I got bigger news. I broke the skag that's right I thought I had it fixed cause the level that cutting level was off I fixed it but a piece broke off of it and of course it's probably it's something they're gonna have to order and they're like two to three weeks out on fixing things so I'm gonna be down a mower hopefully it'll fit, get fixed sooner but that's life. Can't get upset about it. It's got to deal with it. Deal with it. All right, all you grass maniacs, I'm home from mowing and trimming those ponds in the rain. That was no fun. The rain totally stinks. But you know what? It's done. Don't have to worry about doing it until next month. My main concern is getting my daggone skag fixed. Kind of irritating. But you know, I had to take it down to my dealer and let them work on it because I want to make sure nothing else is messed up on it. I'm hoping it's just that one piece. Hopefully it ain't nothing too serious, but it definitely has to get fixed. I'm going to be without it for two to three weeks. Hopefully they'll get it back and fix before that but that's one good thing about having backup mower because you know most of all these dealerships they don't want to take care of the commercial guy like they should you know commercial guys should be number one on the list to get their equipment fixed and done but that's the way I would have it if I had a dealership you know and those guys need their equipment 
to put food on the table to make money, you know. That'd be one way to to make somebody lose everything they got. If they just got one mower, if you have one mower and it goes down there, you gotta keep it for two or three weeks, you ain't gonna be doing nothing. Be losing all your customers unless that way, you know, that's their plan. That way you can just go ahead and buy you a brand new mower. That way they make thousands of dollars off of you. That's why I at least have to have one backup mower. That way you're on the safe side. I want to wish all the mothers out there a happy Mother's Day because that is tomorrow, this Sunday. So don't forget to get your mom something or your wife something. But I always tell my wife that she's not my mom. <laughs> But you know, I wouldn't have any other way. She's the best mom to my kids that anybody could have. So, and my mom is a good mom too. So, I doubt she'll see this video, but I know my wife, she'll watch it. So, happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there, and even you dads out there that's raising your your kids without a mom in their life. Keep doing what you're doing. They need some positive role model in their life. So if you gotta be the the mom and the dad to your kids, do that. Be that person. So happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there and be a grassamaniacs. See y'all in the next one. Peace.